guys what's up it's Earl and I'm back with a update on my stem cell surgery procedure I had it's now been over two years of having this procedure done um, it, it was actually two years in I believe July no June uh, and now it's basically September 1st end of August September 1st probably when you're watching this when, when I'm putting it out uh, and it's just been a while guys I haven't done a video in like I don't know three four months um, so just to let everybody know uh, where I'm at if you're not familiar with the the, the channel um, over two years ago I went to South Florida in the United States to get a stem cell treatment done uh, to help my vision um, because I have optic atrophy which is basically the paling of my optic nerves whatever which makes my vision legally blind uh, so I went to Florida to get this procedure done because obviously it was supposed to help my vision it was supposed to regenerate some of the optic nerves uh, so oh, the nerves and the optic nerve whatever um, I actually had uh, my bone marrow um, cells taken out from my bone marrow my hip so from my own body and they were injected in both of my eyes and you know this is this is my story this is what my channel is all about um, going through that whole process um, like I said it's been over two years now and at this point believe it or not I'm still seeing floaters this is something that I've been talking about ever since having the procedure done still seeing floaters and some days I see them a lot and one thing that kind of annoyed me and I talked about in previous videos was getting this procedure done one of the things that really made me go over the edge to get it done was the fact that they said listen uh, worst case scenario with your vision is nothing will happen you'll get no improvement but you won't get worse you, you'll be fine that to this day bothers me because you know I wasn't I never seen floaters before until I had this procedure done and right after I got the procedure done they initially said oh well those are stem cells floating around that haven't settled yet so month after month after getting the procedure done I would contact the, the you know Florida and I would tell them hey I'm still seeing stem cells and they would always say oh that's a good thing I mean that means they still haven't settled and there's still potential for vision improvement and all this stuff six months later they still were saying it nine months later they still were saying it to the point where they pretty much just stopped you know I stopped talking to them they they didn't check up on me and overall it was just it was just you know a negative experience the only positive that really came out of it was the fact that you know I, I, I met a lot of people and, and I'm kind of realizing what's going on with other people's vision and, and really got a chance to see that other people are struggling other people are looking for answers and if I can shed light and I get so many messages and people telling me like yo thanks for these videos um, you know you really I was thinking about getting this procedure done um, and not I'm not telling you not to get it done I'm just saying I wouldn't recommend it because if I'm being completely honest with you there are there have been a couple people who said they did get improvements from getting this done not major um, but some did get some improvement now was one dude named Doug Oliver you could look him up he actually had this done for his vision problem I forget what it was but he was like damn near the spokesperson for this stem cell treatment in South Florida they call it Scott's S S C O T S or S C O T T S whatever but he was like a spokesperson for it because he had the procedure done like three years ago three four years ago and had these amazing results uh, and he was one of the people that I seen that made me say, wow, you know, if he got this, maybe this could help me, blah, blah, blah. So my experience with it, guys, is, is wasn't a great one. Uh, and if I ever really want to get these floaters removed, I would need a, from what I understand, like a laser type procedure, which obviously I'm not really trying to do at this point. But maybe years down the road, if they keep getting worse, maybe I'll look into it. Um, and keep in mind this procedure you know was twenty one thousand dollars twenty one thousand six hundred dollars actually um, and you know I, I, I talked about it in the past but it's like 
I just don't like the way the Florida people handle it just because the people involved with it, they really do make it, they do sell it to you. And, but they sell it in a way where it's like, oh, we really believe this can help you out. Uh, you know, nothing will happen. There's no, um, worst thing that can happen is nothing. Uh, that we really think you, you're a good candidate, you know, for this procedure. We're not going to press you, but we really think we can help you. And most people with a disability or especially bad vision, their mindset is vulnerable. It truly is. Like anything you hear, you're going to be tempted to do it if you can improve your vision, right? So, you know, I, I had to do what I had to do. I ended up getting the loan out. And this kind of brings me to um, thanking the people that supported, uh, you know, because I had a You Caring page out and I got some donations to help with this big bill, uh, which right now I currently owe $13,000 still to this day. Um, and I had a You Caring page set up. But GoFundMe bought you caring, so my page has been down. So anybody who was trying to donate in the last few months couldn't. Um, so, side note, if you still want to help get this bill down, because I told you before, I can't wait till this bill is over. I got a GoFundMe page now. Um, and now the link in the description will take you to my GoFundMe page where you could donate, you know, a dollar or 13000 if you got it. That'd be great. But, but um, yeah, I do have a GoFundMe page now for all those people that was asking before, like what happened to your UCaring page, or, or you clicked on my UCaring page and realized it wasn't there. It's back up because, like I said, I still thirteen grand, which sucks, but it is what it is. Um, so guys, it's a lot of money to spend on this procedure. Like I said, twenty one thousand six hundred dollars, and a lot of people don't got that. And and in my opinion, it's not worth the risk. Um, so I wouldn't recommend that procedure, but on the brighter side of things, I firmly believe there's, there's other procedures out there that's out there or that's right around the corner. Gene therapy is something that a lot of people are talking about that I'm going to really start looking into. Uh, and even with the whole different kinds of stem cells, um, you know, stem cells that can help it out. So if you're watching this video and you have bad vision or you know somebody who is, try your best to stay optimistic. Try your best to realize that every day that passes, you're a day closer to getting better vision. Don't forget that uh, I'm a real person. My vision is, oh, duh, right? It's bad, but I still keep going. I still do, uh, you know, online uh, online marketing stuff. I still do personal training. I still teach fitness classes. I still, you know, work out. Don't let this stop you. You know, don't let this vision thing stop you. I keep stressing like I'm a, you know, I went through the procedure. And you can watch my past videos all the way back to my first one. And two years later, vision is actually a little worse than when I went in. And I'm still positive, optimistic. Yes, I have down days, uh, just like anybody, but you got to realize if you're having a down day, realize you're not the only person who has down days, right? Also realize, like I said, every day you, you go to sleep and you wake up, you're closer. You know what I'm saying? You're closer to getting your vision done, no matter what it is. If it's uh, getting your vision better, I mean, you're... you're um, macular degeneration, that RP with stuff I didn't really know about until this procedure, you know, optic atrophy, uh, all kinds of stuff is right around the corner. Um, and what I'm trying to do, because I'm into a lot of stuff, but what I'm trying to do, I want to focus on really researching more, and getting more involved with these uh, uh, medical communities and these doctors who, who making these claims. I want to get more you know, invested into that and go deeper, you know, and really learn and help you guys and keep this channel going and, um, you know, let people know it's hope out there. So that wraps up this video, guys. I was just giving an update because I haven't done it in a while. I'm going to try to post more content. Um, but like I said, pretty much with the vision, I, it is what it is. That stem cell thing didn't work for me. My screen just went out. But I think it's potential out there. 
also if you still want to look at that what I did you can look up Scott's um, look it up online um, and that's it guys so once again if you do want to check out my GoFundMe page help me get this bill down when this bill is paid off I will be doing a damn celebration video that this this medical bill is done but so if you want to help out um, link in the description to my GoFundMe also I have a patreon page uh, if you want to donate just to keep this channel going so I can keep doing content like this you can as well so uh, if you have any questions leave them to me uh, and I try to get back with you as soon as I can and uh, you can connect with me on Facebook you can find me all these other places so guys it is what it is but stay positive stay optimistic something's coming to help out I believe it you should believe it till the next time Peace.